All right, so this is Permission to Dance on stage LA in Inglewood, California. This would mark the first concert since 2019, which is more than two years ago. This was, of course, their uh, Map of the Soul concert was canceled due to COVID, of course. Curse you, COVID! Now, I could talk for days why people love BTS, but I feel like we've talked about it here, 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 and here. Let's talk for a minute about the impact BTS has had on us as a society. Growing up as a young Filipino boy, I was taught that in order to be attractive or bogey, I needed to have big, huge muscles. I needed to have a chiseled jawline, six pack abs. I needed to be six feet tall. Society, TV shows, and movies told us that Asians were the nerds, the goofy sidekick, the butt of all the jokes. Weeks ago, you cannot go on or keep ringing my bell. You disturb me. Welcome to City Walk. You like to try shitty chicken today? Never, never, ever the male lead. Unless, of course, they played the stereotypical martial artist. And no way in hell was an Asian male going to get the leading lady. Oh. <laughs> Asian males weren't even allowed to get the Asian female in the story. Those were reserved for the white male lead. Asian males were effectively desexualized, portrayed by all means as being undesirable. I am marching over there and putting my foot down with Max. No one has sex on my clock. <laughs> well, maybe your clock's not big enough. Meanwhile, on the other side, Asian females were hypersexualized and seen as objects more than actual people. And it seemed, at least from my perspective as an easily impressionable young boy living in America, Asians were ugly. <laughs> or at least Asian men. Now, K-pop made their first significant wave in the United States, spearheaded by none other than Big Bang and Super Junior. Of course, the West responded just exactly how you'd expect him to respond, calling them ladyboys, feminine, unmasculine, and pretty much take every single homophobic slur that you can think of, that's what they said. Fast forward, well, to today, BTS have sold over 30 million albums and are currently the best selling artists in the world today. Now, I'm not saying that BTS was the sole reason for this change. Make no mistake, there's been hundreds and hundreds of years of civil rights movements. There are many people and organizations fighting for Asian representation every single day. But simply put, BTS paved the way. BTS has changed the perception of Asian men from scrawny, pathetic loser nerds to now the ideal type for many people. I mean, look at them. Now, while marrying or even dating a BTS member may be a pipe dream for 99.999999% of the world, for the rest of us, maybe we can get the next best thing. This is where EME Hive comes into play. EME Hive is the number one Asian live streaming and dating app in the world with 1.4 million users. Maybe you could match with BTS. Yeah, yeah, no, not quite. But hey, 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 you never know. EME Hive has helped 140,000 people find their true love. That's enough to fill the SoFi Stadium two times over. Let me show you how easy it is, but I am going to need the help of my sister. Hi there. I'm going to use EME Hive for the next three days to show you how easy it is to meet Asian guys. So I'm going to set my profile. What do you guys think of these pics? So what's cool is that you can choose which ethnicity you're looking for, education, height, even income level. Now that we're all set, time to find, um, I'm not gonna say that. Oh, just say it. No. Come on. No. Oh, come on, I'll give you like, I'll give you like uh, 20 bucks. Fine. Now that we're all set, time to find us some opas. Okay, give me the money. Several days later. All right, in three days of using EME Hive, I got 87 matches and likes. That means 87 people want to match with me. It's that easy. In 2021, it's easy to find Asian men attractive, but it wasn't always that easy. Now, 
Asian men have always been marginalized by society. However, thanks to BTS and the recent rise in interest in Asian pop culture, this is slowly changing. We asked people at the BTS concert about how they think BTS has changed how Asians are viewed. Yeah, I, I think that there's just more visibility. There's more visibility so that pe more people are paying attention. So. Yeah, and I think like, it's just opened the door for them to actually be like, you know, sex icons and like seen as attractive men instead of, you know, like Asian men are always viewed as weaker or like not as attractive. So um, I definitely think they're changing the way Asian men are looked at in the U.S. I mean, I think in the U.S. in general, beyond just like K-pop, I think like Asian males have not been thought of as conventionally attractive because of bullshit stereotypes. <laughs> like it's, it's stupid. Uh, but yeah, I have seen a lot of like thoughts from people who have more qualifications than me to talk about it of like how cool it is to see Korean men on stage being considered really attractive. I think they're, they are incredibly hot. <laughs> now they want to look like them, now they want to dress like them, and now they want to wear earrings like Jimin, now they want to dress like Jimin, they want to wear makeup like Jungkook, they want to be good looking like Jin. 10, 15 years ago when Shiny came out, Shiny were wearing color skinny jeans and everyone thought, oh, are they gay? But now, Everyone wants to dress like them and everyone wanna look like them and everyone wanna be cool like them. I think just anything that has like such a diverse community um, is obviously going to um, change the world and change how we see artistry and you know yeah just how um, more accepting um, you know Americans could become when it comes to doing art of all cultures. Um, I think it's no coincidence that we see the rise of something like BTS along with like Parasite winning Best Picture. Um, yeah, um, which I think it's, you know, it's a really great thing. When it comes to um, media, we as Asians, we feel like, you know, the racism is there. Racism. It's still there. And we felt that they are feeling that way as well. But with what's going on right now, and with ARMY supporting them, hopefully um, it will change. Did you realize how crazy it is that BTS just changed the whole like feel of the word, like to like just Asian like artists and stuff like that? Because before them, I feel like people didn't really took them seriously. Unfortunately, kind of like they didn't gave them the chance to be there just because they're Asian or just because they speak Korean or something like that. Like, so I've, after BTS, I feel like after they realize that BTS is something that cannot be stopped and, and you know, like they are just what they are. Like nothing can change how powerful they are. They are like starting to open the door, not just for BTS, but like for the whole K-pop and like the whole Asian culture. I feel like like it's like Squid Game. like what time like in life was like when I started seeing BTS was like 2015 and I started like watching K-dramas too I would never like people would make fun of me because I used to like K-dramas and now everyone is obsessed with Squid Game they literally like paved the way I feel like it's not just on a music level they're so far beyond that like they speak at the UN all the charities they do you know how much they put into stuff that's not related to music it kind of comes together and makes the music even better this was a perception of Asians before BTS. So, what's your name? Long. What's your first name? Long. After BTS? Before BTS. Let's go, Lizzy! This time I'm warning you! I am definitely this time going to call in the police! After BTS. Before BTS? I don't think I should be in the band. Why not? I'm not cool enough. People in bands are cool. I'm not cool. After BTS. <laughs> Now, once again, I just hope this doesn't get misinterpreted. There's been 100 years of civil rights movements, millions and millions of people that have been fighting for Asian equality and representation. Productions like Crazy Rich Asians, Parasite, and Squid Game have also helped a ton. 
So what do you guys think? Has BTS changed the way the Western world looks at Asians? Did BTS just make us hot? Hey guys, we'd like to thank EME Hive for partnering with us on this video. EME Hive is the place for Asian dating, mingling, and entertainment. Use my link in the description box below and meet Asian singles today with EME Hive.